All right, so everyone's absolute favorite prospecting methods are cold calling and door knocking, um, as we know. And obviously we're kidding because uh, most people are absolutely definitely afraid of cold calling and door knocking. And, and you know, we believe that these are two very misunderstood prospecting methods. And both of them work quite, quite well, um, but you need to make sure you have the right approach. Mm -hmm. And typically the approach that people use and the one that I've been taught uh, which I really dislike, is one that has you thinking about yourself as the agent to try to get business and not necessarily trying to give value and play a little bit of the long-term game with it. So um, one of the things we've done is we've put together um, some sample scripts for you. We've put together um, uh, some other more information, but I just want to set this up by saying that um, if you're scared of prospecting, um, or calling somebody that you don't know, it's probably because you don't believe you're adding value to them. I always use the example of if you were to be part of the publisher's clearinghouse mm -hmm. lottery committee and you had the $10 million check and you're gonna go knock on someone's door and no one's like, oh my God, are they gonna turn us away? Like, what yeah. are they gonna do? Now, obviously we don't have $10 million, but you know, even something simple of someone saying, hey, you know, your car window is left open or you know, I saw somebody kind of creeping mm -hmm. around your backyard. Anything that's valuable, people want to hear about it. Mm -hmm. So real estate is two things. Number one, you make a list of people you follow up with something of value. That's it. So door knocking and cold calling, mm -hmm. well door knocking, you got lists everywhere. You can just see all the houses available. But for cold calling, we've got a great tool that we're gonna give you guys that you guys can, um, or, or allow you to have access to if you choose, uh, for uh, making calls and getting actual phone numbers and abiding to the do not call list as well. But I wanna talk to you guys today about adding value. Awesome. All right, well, let's start off. So um, kind of the first slide, so we have a bunch of slides. So you're not going to see our faces too, too much. Um, so we'll kind of let you see what we have on the screen. So our first slide talks about the three C's of marketing. Um, so let's get that one up. And then love this. This is, this is pretty stock regardless of what you're doing in your business that has to do with marketing. So three things. You need some compelling content. You need somebody to say yes. Um, I would like you to give me your compelling content. And then you have to be consistent in continuing to deliver that. Um, so what would homeowners in this community um, find interesting in terms of, you know, if you're going to knock on the door or call them? And how can I discover who might be thinking of making a move? So a lot of the scripts that are, we're going to go through right now, Lindsay, you can start off with the first one, are asking questions that help answer that question. Is What can I ask that gives me a little bit of an insight about where you are in your homeownership cycle right now? Yeah, and just, and just a quick note here. It's like I personally would never make a cold call or knock on a door unless I had something of value to give. So I need to have that compelling piece of content. I need to have consent. So we're actually gonna show you some of our scripts that actually, in my opinion, don't have that compelling content and you'll see how it sits with you and then we go from there. That's so, perfect. So, we, so here is our first one, which is um, you can call via a just sold or a just listed or maybe you have buyers in the community. Now I did neglect but one piece in here that Kirsten pointed out. Um, and I'll kind of share this with you, but so imagine you have, or CIR has, this is the beauty of it, you don't have to have sold a property. CIR could have sold a property in the neighborhood, and the, the compelling piece of content here is that, hey, we have access buyers. I mean, mm -hmm. only one buyer bought this home, we had 15 sign calls, whatever it was, um, 15 showings, there's buyers in this neighborhood that haven't been satiated yet or been satisfied. So we're looking for more inventory. And just listed, same thing, we just listed this property, we have more buyers that weren't interested in that home, but want some other ones, or just in general, there's no listings in that neighborhood, and we have buyers for that community. Now, don't lie. That is a bane of my existence. Mm -hmm. If you don't have buyers, don't use this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just make sure that you have a source or you at least have some legitimacy. You know, our company has buyers, things like that. So here's what it might sound like, and I'll show you the missing piece here, is, um, hello, um, I'm Lindsay Smith with CIR Realty. So again, this could be a door knock or a cold call. These are synonymous. Um, one thing is after you say, hello, I'm Lindsay Smith with CIR Realty. Two questions you might ask is, number one, um, how are you today? Um, which I don't like as much. Um, I always ask, you know, we got a, we got a listing down the block. Do you got, you got 30 seconds? And I and feel like that's a little bit more genuine. When somebody calls and they're like, hi, Ms. Favron, like, do you, like, how are you today? It's like, I don't know, you don't ask me, like, and I don't want to talk to you. Like, I feel like yeah. getting to the points probably. Yeah, you can just say, I'm calling regarding your community. Do you have 30 seconds to talk? Mm -hmm. And that's it. Don't say a minute. Do you have a couple of minutes? Um, just say, you know, do you got 30 seconds? Because that's all you're asking. You know, I'm calling yeah. regarding your community. Do you have 30 seconds? I'll get this added into the script before we send it out to you guys. Okay. Um, but hello, I'm Lindsay Smith, CR Realty. 
Um, you know, we're calling about your community. Do you have 30 seconds to talk? Yeah, you know, we just sold a property in your area or just listed, and we have excess buyers that haven't found the right home yet. Are you or do you know anybody else that may be thinking of selling in the near future? This is the, probably the hardest one to give to somebody, but it's short, it's quick, it's easy, and it actually gets results. One of the ways that this could, could, make, could feel very good, and this doesn't work for everybody, but we just had, you know, if you were looking on our Facebook page, there's some people that said they just had open houses and, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, however many people came through. If you recently just did an open house and you wanted to use the script to do some door, to do some door knocking, to be like, hey, I'm not sure if you noticed the open house on this corner. You know, in the height of the spring market, if you were to say, we actually had 14 groups come through this home. Um, right now, there's only six. There, right now, there's only six um, homes listed in this entire community. There's a lot of demand. There's a lot of buyers. And then you could, and then you actually have a fact to say this happened. Yeah. Therefore, I'm calling because. Yeah, love it. And that, and that's it. What's the compelling piece there? Yeah. That is the reason why you're calling. What is that reason why you're there? Now, this script again, that first one. Um, are are you or do you know anybody else that may be thinking of selling in your future? Um, is the most basic. That one's been taught for years. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue on. So okay. an open house invite. Yeah. So an open house invitation. So hosting an open house, trying to make some phone calls or do some door knocking. So the script is. Hi, I'm Lindsay Smith with Sierra Realty. We're hosting an open house at 123 Happy Street just down the block, and we will have all the sold prices and other important information for the community there, and I want to invite you to stop by and see how your home is positioned in the market. Wait for somebody's response. If yes, great, we'll see you there. Um, who knows, maybe you know someone who might want to live in the neighborhood and you can pick your neighbor. Um, if no, no worries, I'll leave this invite with you in case anything changes. Um, or, you know, who knows, if there's anybody else that you'd like to, you know, live close to you, maybe let them know that we're doing this. So yeah. You can be very casual about it. And the whole pick your neighbor thing for an open house is a nice kind of friendly way to end it. Yeah, and that's where you could say again, hey, hey hello, my name is Lindsay Smith, CR Realty. Um, I'm just giving you a call regarding a listing down the block. Do you got 30 seconds? Yeah. And that's it. So it's like, I'm just giving you a call there. Do you got 30 seconds? And then you can get into it. But the compelling piece of content there, um, Jordan, just go back to that one for one second is we will have all the sold prices and important information for the community and I wanted to invite you to stop by to see how your home was positioned in the market. We're not saying, hey, do you know anybody that's thinking of buying or selling or come in here? Mm -hmm. We want to say, come in, creep on some sold prices, some sold uh, some information, and then go from there. Awesome. Cool. All right. So the next one, Lizzie, is how's the market? Yeah. So, so this one starts exactly the same way. Introduce yourself and your company. That's actually something you have to do. Um, that's mandated by uh, Castle Rules. So, hello, I'm Lindsay Smith with CR Realty. Um, I'm calling about your community. Do you have 30 seconds? And then it says, you know, I work in the community and love it here. Um, we've had a ton of people wondering what prices are doing and how the market is. So, I put together a report including recent sold prices and a forecast of where we think things are going. I want to know if you want me to fire it off to your email or perhaps I can deliver a copy to you. And that one's wonderful. I really like that one. Yeah. So it's like, again, the compelling piece of content here is we've had people wondering what price they're doing. So I put together a report including recent sold prices, which the public can't access, and you can right. even add that, yes. um, and a forecast about where we think things are going. Um, I was wondering if you're interested, I can fire it off to your email or uh, just deliver a copy to you personally. That's awesome. And that's it. And again, it's a compelling piece of content. Get them to go from there. And then the second piece of this is that if they say yes, Great, let me grab your information. If they say, no worries, here's my card if you change your mind. Uh, would you like me to keep in touch if we publish any other information on your community? Great. Um, I used to ask investors all the time at the end of the conversation. Um, I would say, hey, you know, uh, maybe, that, maybe this property isn't right for you. Um, do you want me to keep in touch if I find anything else that makes money? And what do you think they said to me? Who's it's, like, no, 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 I don't, I don't no, like money. I hate yeah, money. Yeah. Um, so I had literally a, a list of over 200 investors um, who had said yes to that question. And that's all you're doing. If someone says yes to this, document it, bring it down, put them in your, um, put them on your, your, your warm list, you know, things like that. So uh, this becomes a good opportunity to uh, build your database. Nice. Okay, the next one is a script for if there's no inventory in a specific area. So the script goes, Hi, I'm Lindsay Smith with CR Realty. Um, do you have 30 seconds to talk about your community? Um, I work here. Oh, yeah, I work, I work here. Love it. Um, Notice recently that there's very few listings, um, and there's really not a lot of homes like, your in this, like yours in this community that are listed on the market. Um, with not a lot of competition, you can often ask 2 to 3% more for your home. So I put together a report including some recent sold prices um, for you to have a look at, and was wondering if you wanted me to fire it off to your email or to deliver a copy to you. So we actually have 
um, a postcard in our print and market in our design and print center um, that's specific to this for doing a mail out for no inventory that works very very similar to this. Um, we've actually had a few realtors who have used it and had some success, which is very cool. Yeah, so this is, again, a community that has very few listings. Mm -hmm. um, there's no houses like theirs. I did this in Arbor Lake for the townhouse complex and picked up a couple listings off of it. Nice. Uh, there was no townhouses for sale, so I just knocked on doors and said, hey, guys, um, I don't know if you've been watching it, but there's no townhouses available, um, which means that you can ask 2 to 3% more if you have no competition, or you might be able to ask that. Um, so I put together a report, including the most recent sold. Do you want me to fire it off to your email or get in touch? One of the things that can work good for this section, too, if you have some additional numbers, is if you have the, um, the average days on market in that community and if the inventory is so low that that number is really low and the sale price, um, the list price to actual sale price, like that's a really good number that you can have if, if you want some specifics to throw in there. So we've actually spent time hunting for communities that don't have inventory. Again, yeah. I'm looking for a reason to call. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not just calling for the sake of calling. I'm looking for a reason to call. And any yeah. of these you can change. So just to follow up to the no inventory one really quick, um, if they say yes, great, let me grab your information. No, no worries. Here's my card if you change your mind. And would you like me to keep in touch if we publish any more information in your community? The same, same. And would you happen to know anybody else who might be thinking of selling in the near future? Because you're talking about there's no inventory there. So you can follow that up with, well, hey, you know, do you happen to know anybody else that might be thinking of selling? Because they would benefit from this as well. Totally. Okay, so the next one is if there is a new development or a community topic. This is such a good one because nobody, is, nobody in a community is unaffected by this. Like Absolutely. this is such good information that I almost feel like if you, know, if you know something about a community that you live in or that you focus on, I almost feel like as a realtor, like it's your duty to educate homeowners on stuff like that, yeah. right? It's like I mean, you're not the MLA, but in some ways it's like this is, this is your role. So stuff like this is great. So I'll read this one quickly. So script, hello, um, I'm Lindsay Smith with CIR Realty. Do you have 30 seconds? I work in the community and love it here. We've had a ton of people wondering about the new interchange or insert any other development, condo rise, brand new school. Um, there was a school that was built in Scenic Acre, some French school that took up the only beautiful green space. Anyways, um, that would be an example. So I put together a report including the timelines for completion and a summary of the impact we expected to have in the community. I was wondering if you wanted me to fire it off to your email or deliver a copy to you. This is such a good one. And most people get really jacked up about this. Oh yeah. Um, and just like in the media, bad news seems to sell a little bit more. So I'm not saying that you should get hype and business off of bad things, but it kind of works. So if there is something like this, this is a really good thing. And there's so much development happening in a lot of communities these days that um, you can probably find something to call somebody about. Just a, just a really quick thing here um, is, as soon as you do this, you're setting yourself out as the expert. And people always ask, well, where do I find these reports, Lindsay? Where do I go? go to the City of Calgary website. Yeah. Print off the report. And yeah. then put it together a one-page summary about, like, well, traditionally, jobs and transportation improvements, you know, oh, improve yeah. community prices and things like that. A good example, this is Dalhousie with the C train, you know, Tuscany and Scenic Acre, things like that. Accessibility to schools and stuff like anything like that improves. So you make a really quick commentary on it. That's your last page, which you have to write. But then you just go to the city of Calgary, print off the information, go to the developer's website if it is there, print off some information. There's your information. Well, package. a lot of the a lot of the community newsletters. So we get the Willow Park, Willow Ridge, Maple Ridge, those little community pamphlets that come out. I mean, a lot a lot of people don't actually go through and read those. But anytime anytime something comes up, I mean, that's in there as well. So if you live in a community that gets those, take a note to flip through them. Mark down anything important, and that's the community information that you can follow up with. Take a bit of that, put some summary points in it, go to the City of Calgary, but a lot of that's pre-written. That's a really easy place for your community um, that you can become the expert on as long as you follow those newsletters a little bit. Yeah, and the follow-up to this one is exactly the same as the rest. Yeah. If yes, let me grab your information. If no, the same. Would you like me to keep in touch if we publish any other information on your community? Um, so th this last one here, um, uh, two more quick slides here. Continuing the conversation. So th this next one here is, well, what do you do, like we, we talked about the very first one that was, hey, do you know anybody thinking buying or selling now? That's a specific ask right here and then. Mm -hmm. You're shaking the tree. Are you ready, willing, and able to buy right this second? These other ones are a bit more of a long-term approach. 
So if someone says, yeah, actually, that'd be great. Thank you so much. You're anticipating the fact that people move once every eight to 10 years. So eight to 10 people that you talk to are going to make a move that year. I want to know those people. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm more likely to keep in touch with them if I start off not trying to um, get the date right away or, or trying to sleep with the person. I buy them a drink first. Pardon the analogy, but you know what I mean. It's like you know you can't just close hard right away. This person doesn't know you. You're you're asking them about their most valuable asset, and you're a stranger. So if they say yes, and if there's rapport there, um, so we'll continue the conversation. If they seem engaged and willing to chat, here's some questions to ask. How long have you lived in the community? Uh, in the same house? You know, have you been in the same house that whole time? Um, what have you noticed about the market in your community? How do you like living here? And if there's a lifestyle change, um, add them to your warm list. So you're asking them questions. Oh, well, you know, it's okay, but you know, now our kids are growing, they're out of school, everything else. And then the last question here is, um, is there anything else of value this person might find interesting that you can offer them? And if the opportunity ever arises, I would love to earn your business. You can finish every conversation with that, and it's an easy way to say I'm interested in it, and it sounds so authentic. If the opportunity ever arises, I'd love to earn your business. Mm -hmm. um, that's a, a cool tool. Um, Jordan, just uh, jumped to my screen for one second here, which isn't up on your thing. And I just want to show you guys on the virtual office here. Okay. How about now? Awesome. Okay, so on the virtual office here, if you guys scroll down, we have this thing called Telelisting and the Do Not Call List. Telelisting.com is an amazing online phone book that you guys can use to get phone numbers. Uh, you need access to the Do Not Call list, so we have subscriptions. Uh, it's $250 through CIR, so get in the virtual office. In the for, the, for the whole year. For the whole year. So, um, so telllisting.com, and if you guys sign up now, it's prorated. Um, so you can click on there and get registered. But I just want to show you this really quickly. Um, you guys can go in, and you can go to a phone book. You can just uh, go to map search, type in your community, so we'll just go Calgary, um, Calgary, Alberta, and um, just zoom out and zoom out a bit more. And you can start seeing everything that's available to call. Um, anything in white uh, is not on the do not call list, so those are free range. And you have all the information you need. There's people's names and the whole nine yards. So it's a great, great tool in order to get uh, information, um, obviously phone numbers. So fantastic. Uh, subscribe if you guys want to do this. It's a great way to build your list. Thank you, Jordan. Um, it's a great way to build your list and start becoming the expert in your community by offering this compelling value. Absolutely. And I even, I even think, just, just one note on that, for people who, who you know, I don't, I don't want to door knock a cold call, well, part of, if you're a listing agent, um, part of your service to your, to your client as a listing agent can be like, I'm going to be calling 50 people in this community to let them know about this, right? And that can almost be like, it's not even about pro prospecting, it just becomes part of one of the things that you're willing to do. Or if you have a buyer, one of the things you're willing to do is to make some phone calls to people in the community. And you can even say like, let's drive around and point out some houses that you like. My commitment to you is that I'm gonna call a couple people um, based off of what you see to see if this is something that you like. Just a cool additional tool. I had 50 people through an open house uh, one year, and it was because uh, we, uh, did send out invites and door knocked uh, invites for the entire community. Wow. And so we spent the whole week leading up to the open house sending out invites and we had 50 people through. Wow. And I met I can't, I can't, probably almost one total. It was almost $80,000 worth of business that we picked up that day. Wow. Um, just from people over the long term of their thing, not just from that house. But um, we ended up selling it and yeah. that was it. So that's really, that's a good story. Yeah, very cool. All right, so this stuff works. Um, get out there, use it. Tellistings.net, great tool. Um, and we will leave it at that. And we're going to be back talking about a way to uh, explode your outgoing referral business. Mm -hmm. So, chat with you guys soon.